Hello, welcome, welcome gorgeous beings of light. This is Elmara coming to you with miracle number 84. I am between projects today, so this is going to be a quickie as well. It's miracle 84 in the 100 miracles in 100 days project. Who can believe we're at 84? Okay, so just Take a big breath in through the nose or as big as you can, deep as you can, filling up your tummy and your lungs and breathing out through the mouth. And let's do this several times. And just continue that breath now in through the nose, filling up your belly and your lungs as best that you can and then out through the mouth. And letting go of everything outside this moment. I've been involved in epic, epic meditation this morning. So this miracle, although it's going to be short and sharp, is going to be absolutely chock-a-block full of fantastic energy. So make sure you keep breathing. And this miracle today is about Nina. Um, and I'm telling this miracle, it's not something she hasn't already posted somewhere on one of my sites, so as a testimonial or whatever. So I just want to share this one because everybody seems to be struggling financially, but I want to show you how fast it can change. So when she came to me, she was charging like 50 bucks for a blooming hour massage. And she'd give them a facial and give them some crystals to take home with her. It might have been 75, but it was a ridiculous amount of money. And um, and she was doing like an hour and a half, spending an hour and a half with them. And she'd give the third one free. That's the point I wanted to make. All the, once they'd paid for three, they got the fourth one free, something like that. Made it cheap as chips. So I said to her, why don't you put your prices up? She goes, oh, nobody will pay me that. I said, no, nobody's definitely going to pay you that if you've got that thought. <laughs> she goes, no, no. I said, well, why don't you just then have some sizing scale? She goes, it's where I live. Nobody pays that kind of money. And I said, okay, well, just why don't you have a sliding scale that is like, you know, 50 bucks for a half hour massage and, you know, but offer something more because you've been doing this work for a long time. She'd been a healer for or doing, you know, massages and Reiki and all sorts of cool stuff for about eight or ten years at the time. And um, so she so she decides on, I think she decided on keeping one at $75, which is what she was charging. She then made a, another one at like, like that might have been like a, an hour and, you know, quarter or something for 150 bucks. But then she made like a top of the range one for $251 that included, you know, a two hour massage and a facial and some crystals to take home with them. But yeah, that's it. It was $251 because I used to make them add their figures up to eight. She made $251. Says to me, I don't think anyone's ever going to pay me that. I said, well, stop saying that and just ask God to send you someone who will pay that. Within one week, within one week, she had these people that, that were in the next suburb to where she lived because that was her reason for not putting her prices up. She lived in a lower socioeconomic area. It, and it was f four teachers from the school in the suburb next to her just rang up and booked in. So in one week, she made, and she had a part-time job trying to support her while she was trying to get a business going. In one week, she made more money than what she made in a fortnight at a job. And they all took the big one. They all took the 251 one. But this was the, um, sorry, that must have been that there was, sorry, because that, that was like the next week she made about two of them. So that would have been about 500 bucks she made from it because that's right, four teachers booked in, but they shared it. They shared the cost. Like, so um, there was four teachers, but they booked two of her big ones at 251. So she made $504. But not long after, and then she started massaging, doing those mobile massages where they go into hotels and do that. And the lady said to her, you charge these prices and get it. And she goes, yeah, because by that stage she was. 
so it was around Christmas time. You, it was Boxing Day, actually. And she was called in to do just a one of the hundred dollars, one of the shorter massages. And as the lady is working with her, she goes, oh my God, you're very, very good. Can I please have your big package and I'll give you a hundred dollar bonus. And she goes, okay, so it's got to remember it's Boxing Day over here. Everybody's still celebrating Christmas the day after Christmas here on Boxing Day. Um, and by the time she finishes, she goes, oh, I really, really want my husband to experience this. Will you do it for him? And I'll give you a hundred dollar bonus for him. She says, yes. So she arrived like at one. She was supposed to be going home at the end of her day to get changed and then go out with all her Italian friends, sisters or whatever to celebrate Christmas on their own. And the, the men were all going out. And so she doesn't finish up until like, you know, 5.30, 6 o'clock. She doesn't have time to go home. And she was able to go downtown because she's still in like her, they used to have to wear like a, a uniform. Um, she, had, she went downtown, bought herself a cheap pair of shoes and bought a pair of, you know, um, tights and a, a lovely shirt to go over it and just went straight to dinner at 7 p.m. But she made on that day over $700 in one afternoon. $700 in one afternoon was more money. That was more money than two weeks wages for her, two weeks of her part-time wage. So I wanted to share that with you to let you all know that you can change your circumstances in a split second. And if you need a miracle, you've probably heard me say this before, just go, God, I need a miracle and I need it now. Or God, I need a miracle now. Don't go, God knows I need a miracle because that's given you power away. You need to go, God, I need a miracle and I need it now. If you, need, if you have some financial struggles going on. The other thing I want you to look at is your rates. Now, just because you don't have any money doesn't mean that other people don't have money. Just because your clients that are coming to you existingly don't have a lot of money doesn't mean there isn't other people out there that have lots of money. So keep the rate that you've got, but then offer another service that's higher like I got Nina to. She ended up selling more $251 healings than she sold, you know, $75 ones after that because she increased her frequency. Once she got one person to pay, lots of people paid and it was really easy for her and she believed she was worth that. And that's what you'll find a lot of times the price, if you're struggling with money, please push your prices up and see what happens. Don't sit there and go, it's all about your self-worth. It has nothing to do with your social economic place you're living in or anything, you know, like she had the most beautiful healing room at home as well. And she was trying to then rent premises closer to the city because she said no one would come to her. I said, that's rubbish. That's rubbish. And she got that, source proved that to her by getting the people who were teachers in the next suburb to pay her the money she said nobody in her area would pay. And the suburb that was next to her was worse off than the suburb she was in. Doesn't mean there isn't people in those suburbs that have got money. Just because everybody's going through a hard time doesn't mean there's still not lots and lots of people with lots and lots of money out there. And I'm telling you this, when you increase your frequency, if you do not increase your rates, and that's when the money stops coming. And I can tell you that I have tested that theory over and over and over and over again. I have it in my head that I should help everybody and, and then I put all my prices down and nobody bloody comes. It's about frequency. It's about your frequency and about what you're worth and what you believe you're worth. And once you reach a certain level, you have to put your prices up, otherwise people will stop coming. And if you've been a healer a long time, you'll see that. You'll see that even your regulars stop coming. But if you put your prices up, or as she, because she staggered them, she still in the end had more people paying her the 251. Now, I think she had a 190 fee, a 75, a 190, and a 251 or something. I don't know. She got more, she got heaps and heaps and heaps of people paying a 251 for a massage and a facial. So that's just a little m manifestation tip for you. If the people are still coming, put it up. And if you're worried about losing the ones you've got, keep that price there, but add an additional service and put it up. And I bet you more people will come and kind of make it double if you can, at least double, um, especially if you've been sitting on that same rate for years. 
double it and see what happens. You, I bet you you'll find that more people come. More people come. And if more people start ringing the phone as soon as you put it up, give it the new people the new price because people will come. So a lot of people let their old people pay the same old price, but just and if you can't kind of stagger it, go, this is the price for you. But if anyone new comes, this is the price. And you will find you'll have heaps and heaps and heaps and more people come. So, alrighty. So that's our little tip for today. As I said, it had to be fairly quick. Meditating every day, staying in alignment with the earth and the sun is another way to make sure that the money is coming in and that you're in flow. But 90, not, I can tell you 99% of the reason that I see that people are not making money is because they've been charging the same fee for five to ten years and they're out of frequency. The people have come. I remember actually another one when I had my training program on, um, my year-long training program back in 2005 when I charged $2,595. One of the women, which shocked me, she said to me that she, she, I was the only person who had a price that much on it and she just would never have looked at anything that was under a thousand bucks. So some people pay money because they believe it's of value. Unfortunately, a lot of people around now charge ridiculous fees like $10,000 and you can tell they don't have the skills, but I mean, that's all about the other people having to learn to discern who, what they're paying for. But seriously, you know, um, if someone who's got no skills can charge $10,000 and get paid it, surely to goodness you who does have lots of skills can charge more money for what it is that you're doing. Alrighty. Take a big breath in for me now. That's probably pressing a lot of buttons. I can feel already, God, it hasn't even loaded and I can feel it pressing your buttons. But just listen to this over and over and over again and just go, I deserve it. If nothing else, you just deserve to have, you know, a life where you can live comfortably so you can do your spiritual work. God does not want you not to have money, but you will have programs running inside of you maybe from the past or whatever, but you'll have programs running inside of you that says, I'm not worthy of this. There's no point in you doing, I'm worthy of having more money, I'm worthy of having this, if you're still charging the same fee you chose 10, oh, sorry, you charged 10 years ago when you were just beginning because you've got all this wisdom. Actually, I spoke to someone the other day and I couldn't believe the difference in their voice from the last time I spoke to them 10 years ago. I speak to them all the time on Facebook and it should have made sense that he was raising his vibration because he's still talking to me and that's something I do every day. I'm always going higher and deeper and finding more ways to be more connected to our divine I am presence. So, um, but you could hear it in his voice. I was, I was, it was so gorgeous to begin with, but it was so deeply and profoundly healing as well. Definitely, definitely not the same person Dad did one of my training programs way over 10 years ago. And sometimes you don't see that when you're with yourself all the time. So just breathe for me, please. The next breath out, I want you to imagine that you're, well, you're raising your hands up to the sun and imagine the energy from your fingertips is tying around the sun. Then you're going to breathe in and bring the energy down from the sun. Let it fill every cell, every atom, every molecule of being and breathe out. I let that energy go down into the core of Mother Earth and tie it around the core of Mother Earth. Breathe in. Bring that energy back up. Breathe out. Take the last energy, last of the energy up to the sun. Breathe in. In from the sun. Out into your body. Last 5% into Earth. Breathe in from the Earth. Out into your body. Last 5% up to the sun. Breathe in. Just complete that, keep going with that up and down movement. And if you can do it barefoot on Mother Earth first thing in the morning, perfect. Do it for about 20 minutes and see what shows up in your life. If you can't do that, you can imagine you're standing barefoot on Mother Earth. And if you're crook or sick, you can lay down and still imagine you're doing it, but on your side so the energy flows up and down your spine. Okay. I think we're going to leave it there today, everyone. Well, maybe I'll give you one big blast of energy, just one minute of energy. I just heard Spirit say, so some of you might need that just to integrate. So 
And this, when you're in this aligned state, that's when you would go, how can I, how can I manifest $10,000? How can I manifest my soulmate? How can I manifest an extra thousand bucks a week? Whatever it is you need, just breathe. And trust me, if you're charging the same rate, source will be wanting you to charge more because they're always looking out for you. Always. Just breathe and receive. Open yourself up to receive this gorgeous energy. Open yourself up to receive more money coming into your life now. Money is just energy. Okay, you gorgeous beings of light, I love you so much and I look forward to talking with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.